All right, all right, Neil Ratner, Rock Doc here with a story. So last week, Boz Skaggs celebrated his 78th birthday. So today, I thought I'd tell you a few things about Boz Skaggs that you might not know. And as usual, a little background first. All right. So Boz grew up in a small town outside Dallas, Texas, and went to the private St. Mark's School. And it was there that a fellow student gave him the nickname Bosley, which was later shortened to Boz. Now Skaggs learned to play the guitar when he was 12 years old. And around the same time, he befriended a fellow student who was also striving to be a musician by the name of Steve Miller. <laughs> and in 1959, Boz became the vocalist in Miller's band, The Marksman. Now, both Miller and Skaggs attended the University of Wisconsin, and the two continued their musical collaboration, playing together in a few different blues bands. Now, neither one of them finished university. Miller left to seek his fortunes as a musician in Chicago, and Boz headed off to the UK, hoping to get involved in the R&B scene that was rapidly developing there. All right. Now, Boz didn't stay in London very long because he scored a record deal in, of all places, Sweden. <clears throat> and his debut album, Boz, was only released in Sweden and failed commercially. Now, in the meantime, Skaggs' old friend Steve Miller was making a nice name for himself around the San Francisco music scene. So when Boz came back from Europe in June of 67, he joined the Steve Miller Blues Band just in time for their performance at the Monterey Pop Festival. Yeah, okay, very successful there. Now Skaggs continued playing with the band and he appeared on Steve's first two albums. And then in 68, he was able, Boz was able to secure a solo deal with Atlantic Records, which meant the need to write some original compositions. Now, Jerry Wexler at Atlantic felt Boz should record at the famous Muscle Shoals studio in Alabama. And Skaggs was especially excited to have, you know who, guitarist Dwayne Allman on the album, only to find out that Dwayne was in Macon, in Macon, Georgia, forming his new band, the Allman Brothers, so he wasn't at Muscle Shoals, all right. But after a little persuasion, Dwayne agreed to come and record with Boz. And the album, Boz Skaggs, which included a version of the song, Loan Me a Dime, with a blistering guitar solo from Dwayne Allman, although critically acclaimed, did a little commercial. You should check that out if you haven't heard it. Loan Me a Dime, Boz Kegs with Dwayne Ullman on guitar. Great move. All right. Boz finally hit his stride with his 1976 album, Sync Silk Degrees. And among the accompanying musicians was David Pice, Jeff Picaro, and David Hungate, who would become members of Toto, while Fred Tackett, uh, also played on Boz's album, and he became a member of Little Feet. All right. Now, Boz was very pleased with the album and said, I knew that after we had made Silk Degrees, that we had done something good. As musicians, we were proud of that record. We stretched ourselves out. We satisfied ourselves as musicians. We were very proud of that record. Great album, man. If you haven't heard it, Silk Degrees, Boz Skaggs. And the album received a Grammy nomination for Album of the Year, and it contained the hits Low Down and Lido Shuffle. Now, Low Down sold over one million copies in the U.S. and did win the Grammy Award for Best R&B Song, which was shared by Skaggs and David Peich. All right. From 1989 to 1992, Boz joined Donald Fagan, Phoebe Snow, Michael McDonald, and others in the New York Rock and Soul Review. I would have liked to have seen that one. And years later, he rejoined Fagan and McDonald for concerts entitled The Dukes of September Rhythm Review. Didn't get to see that one either, but I'm sure it was great. All right, Boz is on the road right now on his Out of the Blues 2022 tour, and that should last throughout the summer. I'm sure it's well worth seeing. Check out where it is. If it's anywhere near you, go. I'm sure it'll be a great concert.
All right. That's my story for today. I'll have more stories as the days go on. I hope you enjoyed it. You know where to find me around the internet. And as I like to tell you, always remember to keep on rocking. All right, see you somewhere soon. Bye for now.